Hey, welcome back to Grand Blank Mitsubishi. Today we're going to be talking about the 2021 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport. Now what we brought to you today is the LE or the limited edition version. And there's a few more versions to go through. This is going to be your second level up in this vehicle. So we're going to just get started by giving you a full overview inside and outside about the vehicle. If you want more information about Mitsubishi's vehicles, we're going to continue to do videos. The way that that can help us is if you like, subscribe, and comment about information you'd like to see that would help us to really give you the information that you're seeking out so without further ado we're going to go through facts of what we've got available from mitsubishicars.com or you can even go to our website at grand blank mitsubishi that's grand blank b-l-a-n-c mitsubishi.com the reason why we're going to list everything that the mitsubishi site has on it as well so you can find the right facts for yourself along with this video to help out so taking a look at the front, now this was a redesign that was done in 2020. Well, they've made a couple things better, more efficient, uh, and, and just making more sense every year. Which means she does a great job of listening to their customers on what they need to have. So when driving this vehicle, you're gonna see things like this very, very pronounced LED, light emitting diode driving DRL lamp, okay? So that's your driving lamp. Now your headlights are gonna be standard LED as well. So you have LED driving light, you've got an LED headlamp, you have LED tail lights standard, right? Turn signals are gonna be in the top portion of this quadrant, okay? So that's gonna be your turn signal up here. Now if you have a, uh, a fog light, that'll be LED as well. If you don't have a fog light, it'll still go in this location and you can do that as an accessory after the fact. Things to point out too, you've got this carbon black looking grill that's gonna come all the way through, this big Mitsubishi diamond that's gonna be on the front, the, the triple diamond. So what does that really mean? So Mitsubishi wants to focus in on three main categories. First is your safety in the vehicle, extremely safe vehicle. This is a crossover utility, phenomenal insurance, unbelievable safety on the inside of the vehicle. Number two, that's gonna be your efficiency. So very, very fuel efficient vehicle, and along with that efficiency is gonna be warranty. Your warranty is gonna be a 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty, and a five year, 60, all inclusive warranty, which is gonna be like your bumper to bumper, or your, uh, basically all the bits and pieces, all the meat and potatoes coming along with it, right? So looking down below here, you've got that front splitter design, and even in the inlay on the side splitter is that carbon fiber look that they've got on the Mitsubishi Outlander Sport for 2021. What we want to talk about too is in that LE package like we have here for the Outlander Sport, you're going to get a couple extra goodies that really make it look well, even more sportier than the name sport. You've got the side mirrors. The skull caps are gonna be painted black to match. This is octane blue, great name for the color. Then down below, you're gonna have here, your side black uh, turn signals built into the fender badging there. You're gonna have these nice fender flares that are gonna go on the vehicle too, keep all the rock chips and keep the paint looking right with a blacked out 18 inch wheel. Beautiful look on this vehicle with the diamond right in the middle too. Um, you can get that with or without a black lug nut option. If you like the black lug nuts, again, go right to the accessories, get yourself a set, no problem. Going through the, the doors. Now, on the door, you're gonna be able to see a couple different options there. Okay, so you can just walk up on this vehicle. This is, again, just a second level up. Here's our key, lock, unlock, and panic. Now, we do have an option for you, you to be able to not take the key out of your pocket do a keyless entry, okay? So that's a proximity key. That's gonna be available in trim levels above LE. What trim levels are there? We're gonna start out with the ES, that's the entry level. Then we go up to the LE package. Now these are both offered in front wheel drive or all wheel control or all wheel drive, four wheel drive, whatever you wanna name it. There is different drive modes and I'll show you where that button will be on the inside of this vehicle here shortly. You're gonna go from the LE up again to the SE package, standard with heated seats and a few more amenities and then you're gonna to go to the final GT version. Now what the GT is gonna to bring to the table is a different four cylinder engine underneath the hood. Going from 148 horsepower, 2.0 liter engine, that's the Myvec that we've got underneath here. When we go up to the GT, it's a 2.4 liter, gaining you another 20 horsepower. Let's keep looking. Big, huge door for the second row. So this really is more occupant based on this vehicle. Come along to those LED taillights, which Depending on how this video shoots, it may be flickering for you right now, but that is all LED in here. And you've got your turn signal, your reverse light, all LED again. Limited edition badging gonna come underneath the passenger side rear tail lamp. And then down below, they carried on 
just that sporty look of this simulated vent here, and then you've got your carbon fiber look that's down in here as well. Uh, you've got a couple different reflectors too, just to add to that lighting ability. We're gonna pop the trunk here in just a second, but you have that simulated diffuser underneath the back of the vehicle too. Things I wanna point out, like looking at all these sheets, right? Um, when we look at them, this is all standard options. Um, that's page one. Uh, again, all standard, there's four pages of standard options. Like if that doesn't get you excited to go, I have four pages of standard options in every 2021 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport. If we take a look in the back, let me unlock it for us here. Take a look in the trunk of the vehicle too. You do have a good bit of room in the back of the vehicle as well. This one's gonna have the tonneau cover up above. You're gonna have Outlander Sport put into your mats as well. Underneath the backside, which I really like about this, you see so many manufacturers doing an inflation pump and all this other stuff. This is a full-size spare. Now, what does it mean when, you, when, when we talk about a full-size spare? That means it's the same diameter of the existing tires that are on the vehicle. Why? Well, because when, with Mitsubishi and the pedigree of all-wheel drive that Mitsubishi does, you gotta have a full-size spare because of that all-wheel drive system. So Mitsubishi listened and they did a great job with it. Now, a standard option is also the 60-40 folding seats in the back and this is removable. So if you wanna just take your tonneau cover off, it's simply a string here and popping this back portion off of that peg and that is removed and done and out of the way. Easy enough. Is there a power lift gate? Not available on the Outlander Sport, but if your arm's not broke, it's gonna work. LED on your uh, center high mount stop lamp and we've got our HD radio, Sirius satellite radio capable um, antenna up above so you don't have some big four foot piece of wire hanging off of your vehicle somewhere. We're gonna take a look at the back seat now and then once we get into the front seat, we'll switch over to a, a whole nother scene there. But let's check it out. The interior design on this actually has a diamond pattern into the seating. So if you can see that, it's one of the hidden things that Mitsubishi has, but if you take and just make a little diamond here, right? You're gonna see that it's actually a diamond pattern for Mitsubishi. It's a bunch of triple diamonds in there for Mitsubishi. It's really cool to show that off. And then in the back, you're gonna have the um, armrest in the vehicle as well. Two cup holders here. Again, the seat's folding. The way you're gonna do that is there's an arrow right here. You'll see that and then just simply pull the seat down. Yep. And now we're, we're done and we're out of the way. We'll move the seat up. We take the headrest off as well. And this is gonna be able to have enough room for full size adults to go all the way through or kids in car seats. Now, efficiency, we wanna talk about that. Take a look at the window sticker real quick and what is Mitsubishi doing as far as efficiency goes? 24 city, 30 highway, and we oftentimes will have customers that are doing better than what the window sticker represents. Well, to do a 27 mile per gallon average in a crossover utility vehicle is pretty impressive. One more thing I wanted to point out too is if you look up top, Mitsubishi is using a, a, you know, this roof rail system, instead of having a rail up above and then crossbars to go in between, they incorporate the whole thing into two pieces. So you'll just remove this, you put your pedestal here and then there goes your bikes, your snowboards, your skis, your roof rack carriers, anything you wanna to do to take this vehicle out into the elements and be able to have a little bit of fun. Other things to check out too, how about five world records that Mitsubishi still holds in the winter with their all wheel control system? Check that out as well. We'll try and see if we can include a link or something like that, but that happened six years ago and it still hasn't been beaten yet. So the confidence in all wheel drive, you've got that there for snow, mud, rut, sands, whatever you're gonna be driving, whatever different environment you're gonna be taking this vehicle through, you're gonna be doing it efficiently. So let's take a look at the inside. We'll show you what the, the uh, SDA or the smart display audio system for this vehicle and the eight inch touchscreen and all the options inside. Follow me, let's take a look. Okay. I mean, I'm literally ready to take a nap. It's exhausting with all the standard features and options inside of this vehicle, especially for the price point. This is in the limited edition and it's barely over 26,000. That's impressive. A huge eight inch screen, it looks like a laptop. You know, when you hop in here and you see the stainless dials that are all around, you know, for your heating and air control, and then you've got heated seats, your high, low and off settings for those. This vehicle has not only forward mitigation with pedestrian avoidance system along with auto high beams, like it, 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 this is all standard. And you're going, are you kidding me right now? This is Mitsubishi Motors that you're gonna have pop up on your SDA screen. 
Other things to point out too is this is gonna have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. All those are gonna be options that we can do here. My phone is plugged in now. Hold on, let me unlock it because I got the whole facial recognition thing going on. Um, we're gonna enable it, right? So we can go through here, you're gonna have home, you're gonna have media, you're gonna have Apple CarPlay. My phone just converted, took seconds, right, to do that. Now you can get through and you can go to your maps, you can go over here to your Pandora, you can go to your calls, your destinations, all your stored information, but guess what? It stays with your phone so it keeps that privacy perfect. Guess where we're located? We're in Grand Blank, right here north of Fenton, Michigan, on uh, Highway 23 and Hill Road, if you wanna come check out some of the inventory that we've got here and available for you. Let's talk about lane keeping system. You've got that. I'm gonna just turn the wheel here real quick. So in the, in the LCD screen up here, we don't have it started, so that's why it says service engine. But up here, if you look right there, that's gonna be where your lane keeping system is. This is telling me that my hood's open because we are gonna show you the hood. But look at just the stitching too on the steering wheel coming back here. You've got all this red stitching in on this LE package. Now that follows through with the gear shift as well and where the soft touch is on the side of the vehicle as well. Now they made this a lot more comfortable on the interior of the vehicle, even the handbrake that's over here. Now you're gonna have a CVT transmission with this vehicle and they call it a CVT-8. So what that's done is it's gone up from the CVT-6 previously produced, but what they're doing with that vehicle is giving you a more of an overdrive, better fuel efficiency at higher rates of speed. Beautiful, all the piano black look of gloss black inside with the stainless features that are coming through. Very easy to operate, not cumbersome, not confusing. There isn't too much in here at all, but I can tell you right now, I'm extremely comfortable. I gotta scoot my seat up a little bit here. And even showing the back seat, Again, saying, hey, you know, it can fit reverse facing car seats comfortably, it can fit full size adults in here as well. But doing this at the fuel economy of 30 miles per gallon highway is pretty impressive to be able to do. Let's take a look underneath the hood. If you follow me, we'll show you a couple things for Mitsubishi's 2.0 liter, 148 horsepower engine. So let's take a look at it. The buttons uh, too, I didn't mention this, but for your forward mitigations above the driver's knee. So the driver's knee is gonna have, like just above there is gonna be that forward mitigation and that pedestrian alert system. Where you're gonna see that is, is right here is where that detection system is coming out of. Before we pop the hood, I wanted to make sure you can see, well, what is that going on? Well, your auto high beam, your pedestrian avoidance, your uh, lane keeping system as well. So you got multiple cameras that are marking a solid line and a dashed line. Mitsubishi just did a great job with this vehicle. 2021 Sport, again, is gonna have the 2.0 liter, uh, the MyVec, uh, four cylinder engine that's gonna be available. There is one other engine that's a 2.4 liter, so this is the 2.0, you can go up to the 2.4, only in the GT is that offered. Your gain is gonna be about 20 horse. Things that I like about this, let's talk and touch on that warranty one more time. Mitsubishi has got a 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. So if you're in a front wheel drive, it's gonna be your transmission, your, your engine itself, your front drive axles, if you go all wheel drive, it's gonna to go to the rear diff, it's going to, the rear differential and the rear drive axles and your transfer case incorporated with that 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty that's coming with this Mitsubishi. That's pretty impressive. So to look at the color, look at the efficiency, look at the options, look at the equipment, you got four pages of standard options. Is this a good choice for 2021? I think so. Best bang for your buck is right here with the Outlander Sport. Take a look at some of our inventory that we're gonna have available for you. And that's gonna be at multiple locations that we have here at Lasco Auto Group. But namely this, Grand Blake Mitsubishi, right off of Hill Road and 23. Check us out online, it's www.grandblankmitsubishi.com. And we'd be more than happy to answer the phone for any questions that you have in the future. Also, just leave a comment. We'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. If you want to stay a little bit more standoffish and just get a little bit more details gathered before you make a decision on what CUV is right for you in 2021. My name is Paul Zagman, one of the sales managers here at Grand Blank Mitsubishi. I very much appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll keep them coming.